Right, so recently there's been a ton of reports regarding the iPhone 14 series not getting the new 3 nanometer process since TSMC's been having production issues. But now out of nowhere we have Digitimes claiming the opposite and saying that 3 nanometer chips should be ready for the iPhone 14. So let's delve into the report, but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so as I said, there's been numerous reports regarding TSMC having production issues. And this does make sense because there is a chip shortage going on right now, so it does make sense that Apple and their suppliers are having production issues. And so for the time being, the common consensus was that Apple's going with a 4 nanometer process for the A16 chip. But now this new report from Digitimes claims that TSMC does plan to commence volume production of 3 nanometer chips during the second half of 2022, which of course is when we should see the A16 chip enter mass production and gear up for a September release. The report also mentions that because Apple is TSMC's largest customer, that allows them to, of course, get the first batches of these new chips as soon as they roll off the assembly line. TSMC did a similar thing to this when they chose Apple to be the first customer to use their new 5 nanometer process. And so the fact Apple does get the first batch of these 3 nanometer chips does make a ton of sense. So can we trust Digitimes and their reports? Well, to be honest, I'm not too sure because number one, Digitimes has an accuracy rating of 58%. That's not very good. That's pretty mixed. But also, Digitimes a few days ago was saying that Apple was going to use 4 nanometer chips with the iPhone 14, which of course completely contradicts what they say in this report. So yeah, I'm not too sure whether I should trust them or not. To be fair, like I said, there's been numerous reports regarding production issues and a lot of reports have been suggesting a 2023 release for these 3 nanometer chips. And so of course with the chip shortage in mind, I do think I'm going to side with those reports and I do think we're going to see 4 nanometer chips with the iPhone 14. And by the way, in case you're wondering why this is important, the lower the process nodes, the more transistors Apple can fit inside the chip which of course offers you more power and also makes a chip more energy efficient. So yes, 3 nanometers would have given us some pretty insane performance and efficiency to the iPhone, but to be honest, the A15 is already a very powerful chip, and so even a small improvement over that is going to be overkill for most people. I guess the only thing Apple might have to worry about is competition catching up if they slow down the performance gains they give us with these chips year over year. But do note, every company is being affected by the chip shortage, and so I'm sure this also applies to Qualcomm, Intel, and every chip supplier out there. Anyways, tell me your thoughts on this report in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the icon above on details regarding the M1 Max iMac. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.